According to a new report launched by United Nations Environment Programme on May 16, 2023, global plastic pollution can reduce by 80% by 2040 if countries and companies make a shift to a circular economy. But any delays in execution will mean higher costs and an additional 80 million tons of plastic pollution by 2040. This report precedes a second round of negotiations on a legally binding instrument to end plastic pollution to be held in Paris. The United Nations Environment Assembly, a UN body that takes decisions on the most pressing environmental issues of our times, has brought together 175 countries who will now be deliberating on an international legally binding instrument to end plastic pollution across the life cycle of plastics. It is also informally known as the Global Plastic Treaty. The UNEP report urged governments and businesses to eliminate unnecessary and problematic plastic uses by making three market shifts: reuse, recycle, and reorient and diversify. For each necessary shift, the report accounted for likely implications on industries dependent on plastic. Even with such measures, 100 million tons of plastics from single-use and short-lived products will still need to be safely dealt with annually by 2040, with a legacy of existing plastic pollution. Overall, the shift to a circular economy would result in 1.27 trillion dollars in savings. A further 3.25 trillion dollars would be saved. from avoided externalities such as health climate air pollution marine ecosystem degradation and litigation related costs this shift could also result in a net increase of 700000 jobs by 2040 investment costs for the recommended systemic change are significant but below the spending without this systemic change the report also highlighted that highest costs in both a throwaway and circular economy are operational which can be covered by extended producer responsibility schemes the document further addressed specific policies including standards for design safety and compostable and biodegradable plastics targets for minimum recycling taxes bans communication strategies public procurement and labeling